Hey, come on in. Sit down. Yeah, <laughs> I'm talking to you. Matter of fact, the ladies, y'all go ahead and have your um, bathroom break. By the time y'all come back out, I'll be ready to talk to y'all. This beginning of the conversation is going to be for the fellas. I got something to talk to them about, so y'all ladies, please excuse us. <clears throat> now, fellas, like, what, what's really good, man? What's going on? Like, I'm trying to find out what's going on with y'all. All black women out here are feeling unprotected, yo. Yo, they feeling naked out here. And why do they feel that way around us? Come on, man, we need to do better. Like, what's, what, what's your relationship with your mama like? How y'all get along? Matter of fact, don't even ask, don't, don't even, um, answer that question. Because I still got some more to say. And I ain't really trying to hear you talk right now, so just listen. Look. There's no reason that a black man should put his hand on a black woman, yo. Like, it's, it's, it's no reason. I don't care what crazy scenario you come up with, what type of extreme circumstances, uh, hypotheticals you come up with. No. Because in those extreme situations, it's always a, a build-up. You know, so it, it, it always lead up to that. It don't automatically start off that extreme. So somewhere in between that lead-up, you got to know when to exit the situation, man. Especially if you're the type to get mad and want to put your hands on something. Now, if you don't have that self-control to go work out or hit, hit items, you know, or ask her where her brother at, ask her where her uncle at, you know, find you a man to fight or something. Yo, there's too many options out there for y'all to resort to putting your hands on black women, man. What's, going, what's, going, what's going on? As a man, we are created to protect and provide. Protect the woman and provide a safe space for them. Now, how can you walk around here and no woman feel safe in your atmosphere? Now, how you, how you as a man can live with that, yo? Like, come on, man. Like, like that is crazy. Y'all really built wrong. <laughs> y'all boys got a little defect. For real. Because y'all not wired right, man. Y'all not wired right at all. And I'm not saying that you can't get mad. I'm not saying that you can't speak your mind. What I'm saying is you can't slap and punch on women, yo. And for those extreme examples that a lot of people like to come up with to justify uh, or to come up with a reason to... Put their hands on a woman, yo. Like I said, somewhere in between that build-up, goddamn, you need to know when to leave. Because don't get it confused. Yeah, I preach never put your hands on a woman, but I'm not telling you to be a punching bag either. I'm not, I'm not saying sit there and get slapped on, get punched on, let them cut you and use weapons, whatever they do, just let them do it on you. No. No, because as a human, you'll be fooled to sit there and take all that damage. And if you the type to sit there and take all that damage, then yeah, eventually you will pop. And then it might, it might flip out and put your hands on. Look how much you endure before you got away. As a matter of fact, <laughs> y'all boys got my nerves um, lit up for real. My nerves is bad right now, so let me calm them a little bit. If you got one, roll up. Now, nah, like I was saying, if you ever have, if you ever catch yourself in a situation where it's getting aggressive, you getting angry to the point that you want to get physical, because I understand you're a man first. So if certain emotions get triggered, then only a certain type of uh, actions it's going to follow that, you know, cause and effect. But what I'm saying is, if you, if the situation happened to get physical before you're able to walk away, you got submissions. You know, put it in a little bear hood. You know, uh, get away from her. If she's chasing you and getting physical, you know, you might have to push her a little bit. You know, you might have to do a little push. Because I understand there's some women out there that's bigger than some men. 
There's some women out there that's stronger than some men. And there's some women that uh, out there that can fight with, with the men. Like, I know some of them, some of them family members, some of them grew up in the same neighborhood. You know, it, it, those are women that you know not to play with. So on that subject, that's just what it is. But if you find yourself in that situation, man, you got to know how to leave. You talking to a brother that done been slapped. I done, been, I done got punched in my eye, stole off on. I had a crowbar to my head. I had to wrestle a knife out of a girl's hand. You know, like, I, I, don't, I, don't have, I don't ran into some crazy women. And not only that was crazy, she had one girl, she was, oh, she, she was stronger than me, but she, she was stronger than what I uh, expected. <laughs> and when I had to get that weapon out of her hand, it wasn't easy, goddamn. At all. I, I took a little slice on the hand and everything. But I didn't put my hands on them. And that's what y'all need to do, man. We need to create a safe space for this for these women out here. Like, for real. Like, it don't matter what her relationship is to you. Family member, friend, little buddy with benefits. Or just a stranger you see walking down the street, man. Whenever she in your presence, bro, she should never be harmed. She should feel secure. You know, she should feel like somebody got her back. If somebody want to act stupid, man. Like, come on, man. Get y'all mind right. Y'all see what's going on out here in the world? That Tora Lanes and Megan uh, situation. Y'all see what's going on? You got men out here shooting women, bro. Now, I'm over here preaching that there's no reason to put your hands on a woman, but it damn sure ain't no reason for you to shoot a woman. But I'm not going to go too deep into that. No, that's for another episode. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, hold on, fellas. Hold on, fellas. I'm going to ease up on y'all a little bit. The women the women is, is coming back into the building.